in my life. Mm -hmm. I remember in um, college um, doing a jewelry competition and really getting feedback from um, consumers who were like, man, this is so incredible. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it so much. How much is it? Uh, uh, uh. (laughs) Oh, uh, what? Cannot. And I'm like, get that way. You know how much time and energy? Uh, Girl. No. Oh. No, 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 no. no, I can't. I can't do that. But you love it so much. So it's like this this back and forth. Uh, oh, mm. great piece. And then it's like that much? price. The price. I Here we it, go. I need it. How, what? Like it, you don't understand how long this took and how the expense involves time and materials. Oh, yes. It's like artists, creatives, and designers. I'm your host, Electra, and welcome to Dream Aloud Art, where we have educating, inspiring, and motivating conversations with creatives from around the world. Show some love and support by subscribing, liking this video, and uplift another creative by sharing this video. Let's tune in to another amazing conversation. Let's go. Artists, creatives, and designers, welcome to Dream Aloud Art on YouTube. And of course, of course, we have a very special guest today. It is my friend and fellow artist, Bonnie O'Donnell. So what comes with Bonnie? Of course, you you, you have to listen to the full um, episode to find out. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to see her beautiful jewelry that she is rocking today. So Bonnie is an artist who makes beautiful and incredible pieces with the powers to heal. Uh huh. Yeah. Some of y'all already felt it. You already felt it because y'all know, y'all know the people I talk to, right? This is not shallow stuff. So she's a loving wife and mother of two incredible toddlers who also stay uh, uh, very active. <laughs> they stay very active. <laughs> and she also uh, spends time beautifying her yard and large garden in Richmond City. So y'all make sure you follow her, send her a message on the gram, connect with her on Facebook, all of that good stuff. Y'all can catch those links in the description below, both on the on the podcast and on YouTube. You can even send her an email. I say do all of it, <laughs> okay? All right, so welcome, Bonnie. What's good, girl? What's you got? You have to speak. I'm like, speak up, girl. Say it with your chest, <laughs> y'all. Let me just say this real quick. Let me say this really quick before we dive in. I mentioned at the beginning, with all that good intro information, I mentioned that she is my friend. Okay, so I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. Like, Bonnie can cut up. All right, I don't know if she's gonna do it today. <laughs> I don't know if her spirit's gonna hit her like that. But she can cut up like she is hilarious. I feel like what's it maybe like our first time like having lunch or something? I think we had lunch, we were having lunch, and I was like, girl, you are hilarious. Like you just had me in tears. Are you a comedian? I was like, you were only like a handful of people that have ever said that in my life. But yes, yes, apparently I'm really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, cry. I might cry today too. That's always a, a key. <laughs> point in our in our visit together it's an ingredient it's a bonnie ingredient it comes yes. like it just has to happen y'all and i love that but you know what and i'm going to give you know um add on to that before we continue is like about crying because i i will start crying uh and i'm not even sure if it's like environmentally like what kicks in <laughs> and i start to like tear up but also because y'all make me laugh like people just, maybe I just, I don't know if I just find a lot of things funny or what, but I will just start laughing and then the tears start flowing. I don't even need to laugh that much. And it's just like, oh, oh like I got to catch myself. Yeah, we feel things intensely. <laughs> mm, yes. Did very much so. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's feeling positive vibes and absorbing all of that, whether it's super positive mm. or bad. And emotional. But. So you think it's more of like being an empath in that way, and it shows up like because we're feeling these these energies. I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Have such a connection to mm. artists 
we have a connection mm -hmm. to each other. I can only speak for myself, but I think mm -hmm. a lot of artists feel that way about you as well. You just really can can feel them and uh yeah. Oh, that's that. good. That's good. Y'all, this is why. See, I'm just I'm I'm being healed just listening to Bonnie and <laughs> And just looking at her, like, that's a whole nother story. Y'all be telling Bonnie that like, girl, like, like, I just like looking at you. She's just a good hearted person. That's what that means. Y'all. So again, y'all make sure if you're listening on the podcast that you jump on the YouTube. So you too can look into Bonnie's eyes and she can heal you. <laughs> She will provide a healing that she didn't know she could actually provide through through the screen. Um, but yes, yeah, so y'all, let's go ahead. We're going to jump right into it. So Bonnie, tell us, meeting someone for the first time, how would you introduce yourself? Besides my introduction, which of course, you know, that's information people need to know. But what would you tell them as far as what you do when it comes to jewelry? Yeah, it's uh, Bonnie O'Donnell Power Jewelry. And yeah. I feel like that. That is what it is. It, I produce beautiful jewelry that has healing powers, uh, mm. something that you are lacking, something that you are needing, something that you need to have support in um, or suppress mm. Uh, mm. some of those, you know, negative energies. We need to suppress those uh, negative emotions and negative feelings. Um, and uh, yeah, that. Yeah, but so so tell us, and that's a great way to you know bring someone up to speed if they're just meeting you for the first time. But how did you get into this, you know, and and at what point did it start to stir your interest that you can remember at the earliest time? Yeah, wow. Um, I felt like I was beating as a child, worked with jewelry mm. painting as a child, and then, um specifically with this power jewelry it was in college I was working for mm -hmm. a local, um bead store shout out to bangles and beads Richmond Virginia <laughs> hey hey and <laughs> and uh I was like I want to make myself a power necklace I want to I just was discovering about the healing powers of stones and what they, mm. what individual stones had to offer and was going mm. through and it's like, everybody was like, what are you doing this? Like, there's so many colors in this. And I'm like, yeah, but it's all the things that I need. Mm. And that was the first necklace I ever made. I still have it here. Mm. And, mm. Uh, Ooh. and then made a couple for friends and then the pandemic hit and a friend of mine um, from college, uh, was like, you know what? I think you need to bring back your power necklace. And I was like, you know what? I think you are going right. to agree with you. I think you're right. And so it just took off. Um, so that was 20, the about October, I think September, October of 2020 and mm. started really going deeper into that and offering that to um, my friends and mm. family and Instagram and Facebook yeah. And, yeah. Um, got quite a bit of orders there. And I made a pandemic, a specific earring. Mm. And, um, mm. yeah, just, just, you made a, you made it wait real quick for those that may have grazed oh. over that. So you made an earring that was, that's called the pandemic or something. You well, like, you, I, named, I named it that it oh, was, you named it the pandemic yeah, because that was like was, a collective healing we all needed where it was like, uh, uh, it was like a group of women that signed up. It's like a chain gift type of thing. And oh. I actually sent one to a friend of mine in England. And I mm. sent one to her friend in Alaska. And mm. I sent one to my friend here in Richmond. Oh, and that's wonderful. Health. So mm. it was specific for healing health, emotional healing. Because oh. Lord knows that was a part of the pandemic. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You know, oh, that's so wonderful. We stay healthy, but mentally we were all mm -hmm. struggling. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I had little teeny, teeny children then. Mm -hmm. uh, so you sure did. Y'all, her kids are the bomb, by the way. The bombs.com. Like, I love their kids, her kids. So yes. Electra, they're sad. They were like, we have to take a nap. I want to talk to Electra too. Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay. Another day. Like, so yeah, sweet. The pandemic hit and I had a four month old and Whew. not even a two year old. Mm. 
Yeah, mm. she was one and a half. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Yes, and we're. Yeah, I commend you. Crazy. I definitely do. It's crazy. It was mm. a tough time, but um, yeah, and it's just evolved since. But mm. um, that was. So, yeah. so I, I want to, and and thank you for sharing that. I want to segue uh, into more of the creative state. Okay, the creative state of why you do what you do, or why that is, you know, the medium that you go back to because you you are a creator in a lot of different ways and first and foremost you mentioned your children right you know you're a creator there too a co-creator right you and your husband um but you've painted before you've done you know a lot of different you draw you draw and you still have done some paintings here and there but what is it about the process of you know, the, con- the concept or the thought or the feeling, the energy emotions that have to develop. And then the selection of the stones, you know, like what is it about all of this that keeps you drawn to jewelry? Yeah. Our I, jewelry on top yeah, of that. I have done almost every single medium, I think. Um, I understand. <laughs> like I get no, it. I get it. A lot of our listeners get it too. Yes. In my lifetime, in high school, I did a lot of mediums. In college, I expanded mediums there. <laughs> and yes, it's just, I am drawn to a very tedious, um, monotonous mm. um, kind of focusing that energy. So these, you know, beading and the, the making is very delicate, but very monotonous. Mm. Mm. Um, and then really wanting to help, um, Mm. as an individual, you know, I really do care about people, Mm. I care about my friends, I care about my family, I care about y'all well-being and I, she does, she does, she really does. It's it's true. It's intense. And so Mm. once I really realized that I can just focus my art in that way of Mm. really helping people heal. It was like, this is it. Like, mm. I mean, I still do other things. I made some pastels for my children that you saw and they yes. fabulous. I've got a, at myself on the back. I was like, <laughs> man, I thought I was a terrible drawler growing up. And I'm like, these are really good. Hey, um, yes. appreciates art very much. So he's like, this is like really good. <laughs> You. I did a really good camel for my son. That's his favorite animal. <laughs> really good. She really, um, yes, y'all. She nailed it. She nailed it like nailed it. And um, gardening. I really love gardening. So mm-hmm. those are my focuses right now is raising children, making jewelry and getting mm-hmm. dirty mm-hmm. out in the yard. So, you know, and I, well, I love that you're continuing to open up more about, you know, the, uh, delicate nature of putting jewelry together. Again, y'all, I want you, I want y'all to know I'm well, again, y'all check out the YouTube video and see the bracelet that Bonnie made for me, um, which I have flashed this thing all in the gram uh, more than enough times. And I'll be more than happy to continue to flash it. So I have seen when, and I haven't even seen her when she's like really, really in her zone, right? But I have, I've at least experienced what, what she looks like from my, from my point of view in existence, okay? So I have seen the part of my life's movie watching Bonnie like pull out her big old kit and everything, right? So there's some, you go into some kind of really focused state as though you are like, it feels medical, you know, if it's like on a medical kind of level, like you take it seriously, not serious as in stress, serious as in you really care about what you're doing and the selection of the stones, at least my point of view, it's like writing a prescription. Like it looks so just on that kind of energy of care. And it's, It's beautiful to see because the reason why I'm sharing this for our artists that are listening is that 
that energy that is behind your creations is so important. Like it's, it's critical. It's so critical to, it's, it's so critical as to what the outcome of that will be. And so can you share a little bit more about that? Has anyone ever told you that, you know, that kind of like what I just shared, has anyone ever said, Hey, you know, this is what that experience looks like when you're really focused, you know, or does anyone even get a chance to see much of that? Like, do you just kind of go into your, your studio, your area, your room, like what, so share a little more about that. Yeah. You know, I, um, last weekend I was what visited a friend and her daughter, um, I brought, I felt moved to bring my bag. Yes. I'm portable. Um, yes. portable jeweler. I can Which is wonderful. Bag, bag and move it on. And, yes. and I could feel and sense that she wanted to make something. I admit she had ordered a power necklace over the pandemic. And when mm. I haven't seen her in several years and, um, I showed up with a bag and I could tell her daughter who's I think just 10. Anyways, we okay. I said, I said, do you want to want to make a necklace with me? And she's like, yes. <laughs> and it was like, sit down. And yeah, the process is, is pretty tedious. It was like, and her recipe, I was like, so what do you need? She's like, Hmm, I'm thinking about it. And then she answered a few general terms and then she got more involved and she's like, friendship. I need someone friendship. Mm. Really sweet. Like, mm, I can see mm. that. yeah, you know, friendships can be hard, um, at that age too. And, mm, mm. and so we just sat down and we wrote all of the powers that she might need and then, okay, well, let me look at my list and see what stones would work for those powers. What colors do you like? What colors don't you like? Yeah. And then she really loves beading as well. And so I got to really get her involved. Um, right. It was the most collaborative I've ever been. And I'm like, oh, green knee stones. What do you want? And she's like, oh, I want this one. I'm like, all right, pick it out. And she's like, oh, I get to do this. I'm like, yeah. And then I'll be like, okay, we need two more of those. So, you know, just really, it is a very step-by-step involved process mm, like mm. Taxes that I'm doing this week. The taxes. Very step-by-step. You yeah. can't, you can't <laughs> just go. A process. And start and be yeah. like. Yeah. Willy nilly. Well, you got to get organized. You got yeah. to do this in a system. That's um, right. So you lay it all out. You measure it. And everything's good. And you start stringing it up. And then I get to write everything down. That's your, that's your prescription, your receipt of all of these things. Mm, all mm, things. You mm-hmm. can have education. So if you feel, um, a certain way, um, you want to know, okay, I, I'm drawn to this. I put this on I need yeah. a necklace today. What was it that I felt on that necklace? Like, mm this stone right here, I felt like this energy, what is this stone? And you can reference this back to mm. the letter. Um, and mm, I think mm. that would be supportive as well, because I feel like, you know, this is, um, a gift, but I'm providing this to help you heal and a reminder that that's what it, that's what this is, is mm. a piece of jewelry. And I hope you love it. And I hope you wear it often, but I hope you realize how special and wonderful you are as well. Mm. So, mm. That's fantastic. That's really fantastic. And you said that that was the most uh, that you had ever had anyone collaborate when you're in the zone, you know, when you're in that creative zone. And and so was it more comfortable than you uh, might have thought before, you know? Well, I mean, I had I had the great <laughs> I had great energy there. Yes. And okay. In a social setting, too. There were other individuals that were not necessarily involved in this. In sure. the room and um their dad was kind of walking through being busy and he was like what are you doing for hours <laughs> it was like four hours of this process oh my gosh it's like what are you doing like mm. are we- okay. yeah now I can see why he was <laughs> saying that. You're making the door the front door of the house and I'm making this jewelry with your family right now <laughs> like oh and he's he's an artist too he is he is this oh, okay so you get it. They get it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're all beautiful artist people. Shout out to the Jameses. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to, Hey, the James family. Yeah, absolutely. I, as you were telling that story, I was thinking, I 
think she's talking about like the post and everything that I had seen recently. So yeah, I love that. I love that. But you know, um, important that you had just mentioned about, you know, having good energy and whatever good energy looks like for you, you know, um, uh, having the good energy. And I know because I can hear, I can hear some of the artists right now. No, having good energy isn't what the entire process of art is all about, right? It, what's most important, at least what I feel the most important thing is, is that you're actually expressing yourself, no matter what that looks like. You are, you're processing your emotions and you are expressing yourself. But what we're putting some light on right now is that it hits different when it's almost like, uh, not almost like, how, like how love is the highest vibration we'll say. Right. And so that means that with that kind of good energy, just in general, it transfers in a way that's more impactful. You know, it transfers in a way that's perhaps more purposeful, um, in helping lift humanity. Like <laughs> I'm just going to kind of go 20 levels deep, but it really does. It really does. Like food, you know, your parents, food, my mom mm-hmm. makes the best scrambled eggs. <laughs> I've watched her. I know how to make scrambled eggs. I know what she uses. Yes. I, you know, what tools she uses when she starts mixing, but her scrambled eggs with her love in it, you can taste it. Come on. You can taste it. So from the head to toe, from head to toe, girl, like. Yeah. When I write in my letter made with love by Bonnie O'Donnell, that is what it is. I mean, yeah. I put my love in that, you know, I thought about what powers you needed and I thought about what you needed to heal from and that love is in there. It's in there, y'all. Did you catch? Hold on. It's already in there. Like, like, hold on. That hit real deep, Bonnie. It's already in there. Like, on it. So I'm gonna go again. Twenty levels deep. It's already in you. What you need to actually create, right? And so as you're as you're creating that love that's already in you, it's transferred. And so it's like with the jewelry, that process, it's real energy is transferred. It's in there. What? I need for y'all to cop like six necklaces on that note, like just in one sitting, because it's already in there. Like, what? It's in the mix. Woo, girl. I'm on it. All right. That was that was like a big, that was a big gem. That was a big gem. That that hit me. Like, I'm sure you can tell. Okay. So <laughs> so when you were interested, the interest is there for creating jewelry at what point? And I know this is a, just, just, I'll just get to asking the question here because I don't really feel, I feel like if we're always willing to learn and grow, um, then we're always going to just move in that direction. So your interest could turn into a business, could turn into whatever can turn. And so, because the interest is growing, the, the, the idea of self-worth and what you're creating is growing. So let me just give that as a heads up. But at what point did you, did the light bulbs perhaps start brightening a bit? You know, maybe it wasn't like a flip, a flip switch, but the dimmer is now becoming brighter where you feel more positive about your creations. And it just feels, it just starts to resonate with you more. Can you recall where that started to come into play? Um, I feel like there's a couple pivotal pivotal moment pivotal yes we touched on the pandemic um and I feel like earlier than that um uh yeah that's what I was thinking I was thinking it was probably earlier than that that it just started to like earlier than that I mean you know I've always I've always considered myself um a, a creative and artist um and I was surrounded by a lot of um, creative individuals. Um, but there's that comparison of, Mm, mm. am I good enough? Mm. I do this better. The same thing with the drawing. Like I always thought I was an awful drawler. So I'm like, okay, I'll do crafts. I love, I love that. And I do, I love, I love a, a lot of mediums. I do love crafts. I excelled in crafts. I love photography. Um, mm. there are individuals that can do ceramics better than I can um that can photograph better than I can yeah but Mm -hmm. I still enjoy it Um, yes that took a long time for me to realize that just because I'm not 
excellent at something doesn't mean that I don't, I have to stop doing it. Um, That's right, girl. That's so, right. Yeah, yeah, it was. And I guess at college, I mean, I, I just, um, my sister, my parents are going through the phase of eliminating some things and they found some old clippings from the newspaper of what the year that I graduated and it was like everything was posted in the newspaper and it was like Bonnie O'Donnell this Bonnie yeah. O'Donnell this Bonnie O'Donnell Bonnie O'Donnell Bonnie O'Donnell, Bonnie O'Donnell. <laughs> like I won that many awards and scholarships when I graduated that's crazy like more than these athletes and these you know these and these popular cool kids in school that I think what? You know, that are perfect mm-hmm. dang Okay. I forgot about that a little bit. All right. And then um, I went to BCU and I did their portfolio day, their one day acceptance portfolio day. You brought Ooh. your portfolio, you dropped it off in the morning, you came back several hours and they told you whether or not you were accepted. Oh my good, That's how they were rolling. Okay. And this is hundreds of people. Wow. <laughs> not, this is not, you know, just like 50 people showing up. And mm-hmm. I got it. And I, I felt like then I was like, oh, okay. Validation. I got this. Like, oh, snap. Right, I'm worthy. I'm supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. Then you get to the comparison again. You know, mm-hmm. um, but I tried to really, um, tried to really flip a switch when I went to college. Yeah. And before I even went there, I was like, I'm going to talk to everybody. <laughs> I'm not going to judge anyone by their appearance or, or whatever. I'm going right. to everyone. I'm going to be a friend to everyone. And I really tried to make that continue. <laughs> you, you tried for sure. for sure. And it worked. Mm. I, I fun. It was great. It was okay. Wonderful. All right. In that sense. Okay. That's good. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. really huge in college, you know, yeah. that's really huge. But also, you know, your professors pushing you to do things, try different things. And yes, you know, some people might think you're just beating. It's just beating. Mm. I've heard that. Right. But what is it to I really, you? really, really love to do? Like, yeah, I love this process. I really do. I did. I did glass blowing. Well, it was, it was lamp working, not glass blowing. Sorry. Lamp working cold. Like, yeah. Well, that still interests me. You know, I'm like, oh, say what? Because I don't do that. <laughs> what did I, or do? I haven't done it. What did I do? I made jewelry. I made these teeny tiny tedious little pieces of glass hundreds of pieces and made this big huge necklace oh my gosh that's still what was what I was doing and yeah like kept pushing me to set stones and all this so that so that development is just well maybe that's the the word that I'm going to reference here is that it's been a development it's been in the process and the appreciation, it sounds like with what you're just sharing with us, even if you have those moments of comparison, you go back, when you, when you go back to um, creating your jewelry, it is a sense, or what I'm getting from this is like, there is a sense of appreciating it even more as you go back to it. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like, the the kid at least I'm putting a picture in my head but like the kid who is so determined to run away from home and then at, when they're out there they're like okay this is not a vibe <laughs> like um I kind of like I want to go I want to go back home and so you go back home with a fresh appreciation that's what it sounds like yeah yeah oh that's good I'm starting to cry yeah. I'm starting to like tear up a little bit but it, yeah I think that's beautiful oh that's so good yeah. so it is it is just yeah yeah very confirming that mm. I am where I'm supposed to be, you know, and it is hard. Um, it's hard in life to realize the seasons that you're in. Mm, mm, mm. Why? Hold on. Let's, let's dive. <laughs> so why yeah. is it a challenge to, to recognize uh, what may be happening? Yeah. Yeah. This process, the, the season, as you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. There's been pivotal things that have happened in the world. Market crashes, jobs, loss of jobs. Mm-hmm you know, all these things in life that happen and really change your focus. It's like, mm. okay, well, we're starting over financially. Okay. Or, um, not selling art. So I've got mm. 
something else. Okay. You know, got to pay bills, you know, okay. Yeah. Kids, yeah. These kids are taking a lot of my time. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So what is this? You know, how, how do I do it all? Okay. Maybe I don't do it all right now. And there for a large part of my life, um, you know, art was not a focus. It was always there. I always, I always made every year something. I make a lot mm -hmm. of gifts for people, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, things like that. But as far right. as just creating to create per se for yourself, um, it's like, okay, I'm going to work on my yard. I'm going to work on landscaping. That sure. Feeds my soul and my body and my energy in a lot of different ways. That's what I have time for. That's mm -hmm. the necessity for me. I feel like so I'm going to work on that because that's what I can fit in my schedule of busy life, busy mom life, yeah. life homeowner. And there's jewelry. And <laughs> I'm happy. I'm so happy to be back in the focus of jewelry. Right. Right. Mm. And mm -hmm. trying to juggle it all. <laughs> yeah. But you know, and you, you mentioned some really key gems that I want our listeners to, you know, rewind a couple of minutes. If you have to rewind to listen to exactly how she said it, but it's when you lose focus and there's a way to keep, keep focus and still be active in other things. I'll, I'll give you an example. Cause that was really good. That was really good, Bonnie. So, so think about somebody that you either really like or some, or if, you know, you want to reach back to when you really like to somebody, but you may have, especially in social settings, like when you go to, you know, when you were in grade school or when you were, you know, like just in that kind of vibe where there's just a lot of students or there's a lot of people in some kind of room or event. But when you walk, when you walked in there, number one, you may not have known they were there, but then you became aware. Okay. So now you knew that they're there. Okay. So th this is going to just hear me how this has to do with having the focus and still being focused. You could have a whole conversation with someone in that room, but your focus is on that person you really like, you know, exactly where they're at. Like you, and if you don't know, and you're having a conversation with somebody, you're occasionally glancing away to see where they're at. That's what, that's what I mean by you can still be in the motion of life, but, but in your mind, that focus, that love, that passion, it's still there and you cannot get away from it because it's innately a part of you. And so that's why artists and, you know, just an example, but artists or, you know, me or you, you know, have been through this where you take the hiatus or you just don't do it for X amount of time. But since it's such an, an innate part of you to create, you are still looking forward to when you actually do. And so just like that person that you really like, you know, you're aware, you're just aware of their presence. That's all. You just know that they're in the room, them and their fine self. Like you just, you're, you just know, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm talking to this person. And like the person you're talking to, you didn't talk to for five minutes, 10 minutes. And it's like, can I please, like, I need to figure out how to get out of this conversation so I can find where they're at, you know? Yeah. So I feel like that was such a gem y'all. And again, listeners go back a few minutes at this point, maybe five minutes to hear how, hear how Bonnie said that, because that word focus really stood out. Um, so no matter what, you know, life is throwing at you, you, you know, you go right back to your roots with it. Yep. That's so good. But so know good. Season. Know your season. Don't give yourself too much of a hard time. Yeah. This, this, this tough moment will pass and you'll come out and you'll be able to get back at it. Um, but you know, it's just a season. <laughs> it's just a season. I'm only going to have toddlers for a little while longer. That's right. And, and, and especially highlighting, you know, your family and, you know, prioritizing, prioritizing, um, and even finding ways to be creative with your family, you know, or even, you know, like when I know when I was working for the government, I still found ways to be creative while at work like this, you can find different ways to express and have freedom in that. And I love that. That's so good. You about to cry, girl. I'm about to cry. I'll cry for you because I, I feel my tears coming up, getting emotional. Um, okay, so let let me go a little bit deeper here. 
Um, what have some of the, I know you had mentioned um, the comparisons and I don't know if that would be the answer to what I'm about to ask, but what have some of the greatest challenges looked like for you? You know, were there conversations that were a challenge? Were there people questioning what you're doing or, uh, or was it internal, the internal dialogue? And as you mentioned earlier with comparison, what has that looked like for challenges? Because some of our listeners, you know, not some, because I really put this, I really put a lot of, um, attention on noticing what conversations look like, comments look like from artists, but that encouragement is needed there. And yes, they have the challenge of people questioning them like, well, what are you doing? What are you doing with art? Like what, why, why, you know? Um, So what has that looked like for you and something that you can empower our artists with? Yeah. I, I, I feel like there's two big pivotal moments, one as an artist and, and just one, um, privately in life okay. that, that have, that have been pivotal, pivotal moments in my mm-hmm. life. I remember in, um, college, um, doing a jewelry competition and really getting Ooh. feedback from, um, consumers who were like, man, this is so incredible. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it so much. How much is it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, uh, what? Cannot. And I'm like, Cannot you know how much time and energy? Uh, Girl. No, oh. no, I can't, I can't do that. But you love it so much. So it's like this, this, back and forth uh, oh, mm. right piece and then it's like that much? price the price I here we go it it. How, what like it, you don't understand how long this took and how yeah, the expense involves time and materials oh yes piece, like and the love the care the attention yeah. like that's yeah yeah, Please you know, and mm. then not having, you know, having great feedback, but then not being able to sell anything like that was really, really hard to mm, mm. and discouraging. Yeah, um, yeah. And with those jewelry competitions, luckily, I got a job right out of college in the jewelry industry. Um, mm, mm. But that was very different from my art. I was not creating. I was working yeah and yeah making good money great money it was wonderful it was a wonderful time in my life but it was not it was I really it was like a, a flip switch of like oh maybe mm. I'm maybe I don't have to be an artist I just mm. I just need to work I'm in the industry I'm creative in this way I, I love being around jewelry this is enough for right now convincing yourself yeah yeah mm. Um, so that, yeah, that was hard, but you know, then you grow up and you realize money's not everything (laughs) and Mm. you lose that job Mm. because Mm. the market crashed (laughs) and you're like, oh, well, here we are back at square one. Yeah. Now. Right. Um, so yeah. Mm. Um, and then a personal pivotal moment was. Now, now the tears might come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, we ready. Yeah, We've well, already I- cried a few tears listening to this. So we're good. <laughs> Go ahead. Struggling with infertility. Mm, mm. Years and years and years of heartache. And when you are just like beaten down every mm. single month for years. Uh. Um, so it's a lot. So you don't have time to it's hard to find a happy place. It's hard. Mm. To find a happy place. Mm. Mm. But I did do art therapy and that was incredible. Yeah. Oh. That was incredible. Mm. So, mm. Um, shout out to all those art therapists out there. Cause I would love to learn more about that. And thank you for being so, you know, open about it, but I love that. Yeah, that was intense. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Mm. It was such a healing, you know, I know how to, I know how to make art and make, kill my, kill my, kill myself but putting yourself in a position to go deep in some mm. such a hard time mm. um yeah dang that's good 
but it helped. It really did. Um, I'm sure. And remembering, Gosh. just, just then just remembering, you know, you've got your healing jewelry. Mm -hmm. Um, so good. Yeah. So good. So that oh, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> So those, yeah, they, those are huge. Gosh, those are huge challenges. And, you but know, it really, it really set the tone for um, preparing myself for children. So, mm, uh, mm. They, there's not a lot of, not a lot of me time. Um, so it just changed a lot of things, but put yeah. them in, in perspective and yeah, I wouldn't wish it on any, any person. Mm -hmm. The worst person in the world, I wouldn't even wish it on. Yeah. But yeah. seeing my children, um, I see them. I'm so grateful for them. Mm. I love them so much. And I, yeah. I know all parents do, but I feel like it's just a little bit different. It's mm. just a little bit different when you had to wait so long and you had losses and struggles that you can't. Yeah. It's, mm. it, it just hits a little different, I think. So. I love that. And I, again, I definitely appreciate you being so open and transparent about this is your life, you know, like this is, this is life. And we love to say that art is life, but then in the next breath, compartmentalize it. Like it's its own little thing over here in the corner. So in other words, your life experiences Hmm, I'm trying to, okay. But your life experience, because <laughs> I'm so mindful of the words I choose and then how people receive the words, but your, your life, your lifestyle, your choices you make in your life, it's all wrapped up in one package with your creativity within you, what that experience looks like for you. So in other words, if, you know, as Bonnie just shared dealing with infertility, yes, yes. It impacts the, your life. It impacts your entire life. It's not like it's its own little thing over here in the corner. So, you know, artists have, um, uh, that I've interviewed and of course just talked to and had conversations with, you know, we talk about the family, you know, concerns, you talk about the losses in the family, you talk about the addictions that that artist may be having or someone they love is having. And it's a, it's a, how can you get in, how can we find ways to go right back to appreciation? Like what, what, with those things that are happening, how can we, and then a, a lot of cases, it is the art, you know, or it is finding that moment of creativity. It may not be your favorite one, but doing something where you can express yourself in that, in, in a healthy way. Um, so critical, so critical. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I love her kids y'all too. So <laughs> They, they are beautiful. They love, they love Electra too. Yes. I had Electra over and I was trying to get them fed. <laughs> and have some <laughs> me and Electra time because we I know because that could be eight hours later but but so it is sometime time so we could have our conversation and yes my sneaky kids <laughs> from nap and they saw Electra and they're like I said, okay, this is Electra. She's going to be here after nap. Okay. We're going to, you're going to hang out with her <laughs> after nap. <laughs> and I was like, say goodbye. And, oh. down, and my son was like, I love her. And I was oh, like, I know. Oh my gosh. In the moments, the few so good. seconds of meeting you. Yeah. Like, I love her. <laughs> I, love <laughs> I was like, look, I love you too. That, so that was, sweet, that was Our connection too. I'm like, saying, yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Such a blessing. I'm like, oh, yes. You said that. <laughs> I would like to talk to you for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> right. You are comedy, but you know, um, going going back to your kids, like. And what you had said about the weight, you know, the weight and the, the external, the physical, the internal, all of those challenges only to, you know, God, God opened that up for you to actually have two beautiful children. And that weight looks different for everybody. You know, for someone one year could be 
painful, you know, for someone else, they can wait 15 years for whatever that looks like and be okay. Like there's something like, okay, yes, yes. I've waited 15 years and now is the time, but it only, but it would take that amount of time for them to really feel like, yo, like, like what is going on? Like nothing's happened, but now that, you know, this is, this blessing is coming in my life. Now I feel like, yes, this is, this is the right time, or I'm agreeing that God's time is the right timing in this case. And so what can you share um, about the wait? You know, artists are trying to do a lot of wonderful things out here, but they are dealing with this, this idea of the waiting. Um, and it can get gruesome sometimes. So what kind of, you know, or, and that can be anything, you know, whether that is what you just shared, uh, you know, um, dealing with infertility or whether that's waiting on a particular, um, excuse me, waiting to, I'm thinking of some, uh, some conversations I've had recently, but like walking away from the job, you know, like, God, when is this going to, like, I can't take another day of this and, but they need the money. And, you know, like what, again, what kind of words of encouragement can you share? Yeah. Yeah. Um, goodness. <laughs> where do I start? <laughs> where do I start there? Um, right yeah, here, right now, girl. You know, just, just trying to narrow down the, your focus on what is most important at the moment. Mm, mm. Um, so, you know, putting that energy in your art, if that's the only place that you can do that because you can't leave that job or, um, you know, you finally had it and, you know, make the change and see what, see what happens. We Mm. met, you and I met at a very, like the most (laughs) pivotal moment of my life as a, Mm. as a, as a, as an artist and as a mother and mm, mm, mm. finding myself again, getting out of the house, having a job out of the home. Um, I watched y'all. She was wild by the, by the way, real quick. She was a, she was a handful when I first met her. That she, she I, mean, was, I am and she was, in general. Yes. Yeah. She was very relaxed. That's what I'm saying. Like she was very like, yes, like I'm so glad to be here and just, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, big change, big time of changes when I met Alexi. Mm, but mm. It, and it's looking back now, and you know that's most of life. Looking back at the hard point points, looking back at the scary change times, mm. looking back at those, and realizing, gosh, that was a god send. Like, yeah, like that yeah. was that was everything. Mm. That was the moment that, you know, you really went deep in your art. That's really the moment when you started believing in yourself as that was really the moment when, you know, you, you you left the home, but your focus on your children improved because you were not there all the time. You know, it was really hard. It's just, it's a lot of hard things, but Mm. that's life. And, you know, just seeing, seeing how that changes you for the better. Oof. Um, yes. And everything. And it, a bit, it takes some time. It but, might- <laughs> see, but ho- hold on now. We're going to put the spotlight on a few things that you've said once again, because even you may not even realize, whew, this is going back to what you said about the seasons. You may not even realize what you're going to pull out of the waiting. There's something during the wait that later on or after you receive it or whatever you want to call it, but later on, you'll get exactly why you had to at that time. You know, like it, 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 you know, make you want to pull your hair out sometimes, right? Make you want to pull a nice little chunk. Okay. Or a nice little chunk out, but how many times has that happened that we'll, we'll remember a time or remember a time back when, whatever that looked like. And it's like, yo, I am so like, maybe that's why that had to happen. Maybe I did need to wait a couple of years. Maybe I did have to struggle at that job. And I'll tell you sometimes when we actually realize it, when some of us actually realize it, when we see someone else experience it and we have some, we have a story to tell. It's like 
someone else is going through it. And it's like, I would not have been able to connect if I didn't have an idea of what that felt like. And that's, that's a big moment for people and especially artists where they're like, Mm, because it hits different when you know what that experience is like, like even with this platform, with RTA and, and the things that I've, you know, um, my content and all of that, the connection is there because I dealt with a lot of different things, <laughs> like a lot of different internal struggles, external struggles, having issues, et cetera. And so there's growth when we're able to share that story, you know, it's tough sometimes, you know, but it's like, dang, like only after, only in that moment when you're connecting with that individual in a healthy way, you know, you're not, not, you know, like we're both, um, <laughs> we're both negative Nellies and now we're going to become negative Nelly times two, you know, no, but for the sake of healing, for the sake of healing and letting them know, like the words of encouragement you were sharing, it's like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going through this right now, but you never know. And I'm adding this too. You never know who, who you're going to touch. Like this may seem like a YouTube video, but some, but for someone else, they'll end up referencing this. Like at, they'll like, remember when they're going through having a moment, they'll actually remember something they heard yeah. on this interview. And it's just like, yo, that was really good. Like the gems drop at different times for people. It's like, Oh, that hit. <laughs> I mean, if I hadn't, uh, the market hadn't crashed and I hadn't lost my job, my professional jewelry job. I would never have met my husband. Well, I, that's not true. I met my husband in middle school. Um, I would never have met him in the light that I saw him when I was unemployed. There he had a halo that, around him, y'all. That, that, he had a halo. He had a big... Happened. That he had a big, bright halo around him, which she, it's, oh, it's like you saw him, but you look twice the second time. The first time. It was like I saw him for the very first time. And I have known him. Yes, that's correct. I have hey. known him, had known him. What? That was like 15 years already. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden it was like the first. Oh, <laughs> there, there's, there's my husband. He's glowing. <laughs> He's glowing all around. Him. That person. <laughs> yeah if I hadn't gotten if I hadn't lost my job that wouldn't have happened um you know if come on infertility like if that mm. hadn't happened would I you know be able to I don't know get out of my funks with my kids or see them in the light that I see them because mm -hmm. it was it was just given to me just you know if I hadn't mm. ever would I still you know so does that make yeah. sense yeah. Yeah. I can, I, 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 I want to relate in my, um, my knowledge of what you've experienced because my mom had three miscarriages and my sister and I were, you know, the natural births and it was, it was, it, the embracing of welcoming us in the world was just, it was, you know, out of this world for her and my father, you know, so yeah, I've had, you know, a lot of talks with her about that and the, um, the struggling moments and the emotion and, you know, the, the talks that she may have had with someone like, well, you know, get back up and go back to work. And, you know, and it's just like, what, it, like, <laughs> you know, a, just a lot for her to, to deal with. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, thanks. Thanks so much, you know, for, for sharing, for sharing all of this and just, you know, it all. And again, I'm reminding our artists, like this is, this is life, you know, art is life, but your life is art. You know, it's its own masterpiece and it's being, you know, eh, I know some of y'all might be, y'all might, y'all might like to say some of this stuff, but I need for you to like art is life, you know, life is art and all that. But I need for you, or I'm encouraging you to go again, 20 levels deep with that and really sit with that, really sit with some of those cliches that we, and again, cliches, maybe just in the sense of things we hear all the time, but if you really sit with it, you can, you can see the deeper meaning in that, you know, um, your art over the years and see how it's changed with the events in your life. Mm. Oh, you know, just look, just look take me now. <laughs> take me now. 
yeah. <laughs> see how they've changed, you know? Oh, so good. So good. That's what happens. That's what happens. Yes, because we we're evolving. We're evolving. There's nothing I I'm not shaming no artist that has had the same style ever since they were, you know, or for the past 20 years. I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. But what I what I, I can wholeheartedly agree for my own experience with you sharing that from my own experience. There is a certain willingness and a desire to evolve, to improve, do better. And when you have that willingness, it'll show up in everything. It shows up in everything. Yeah. I love that. You have the same, you the guru. The same thing for the past 20 years. Look at the very first piece you made 20 years ago and look at the piece that you just made yesterday. I bet there's going to be a difference. Even though you're doing the same thing, I bet you'll see a difference. Are you an art advisor? You just didn't tell me what is going on. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are That's good. For a reason, Electra. What's sure. that? I said we are connected for a reason. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yes. Kindred yes. spirits right here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, you know, I co-sign that all day, every day. So true. So yeah. Oh, oh, now hold on. Because of course I want to remind y'all links are in the description of this video and on the podcast, make sure you connect with Bonnie, send her an email, check her out on IG and her Facebook and all of that wonderful stuff. But I am going to pull up her Instagram and at least look at a couple of pieces. So if you're listening on the cast, <laughs> then uh, jump on YouTube so you can check out some of the pieces that we're talking about um, because she's going to give us, she's going to I'm sorry. I'm looking at this picture of you, girl. Okay. So first, let me make my comments on the picture. Okay. So we're going to look at this one right here, this particular post. So this look feels very Vogue magazine, kind of like this, like, you know, Bonnie in Paris. Like, I don't know. That's what, that's what it does for me. It gives me that kind of vibe, like the natural, elegant, look or face right? right very natural elegant face very flawless kind of vibe um very yeah. vegan very i'm vegan and gluten-free kind of vibe <laughs> like that's what it looks like to me i am a little crunchy yep i'm a little <laughs> crunchy yeah well, tell us tell us about but yes yeah, gracious that is no makeup <laughs> well tell oh i see okay well hold on which you look great girl you look you look wonderful but tell us about, now I'm seeing it's different pieces here. Yes. So tell us about this, this piece to start. The, both of these pieces I love very much. Um, that is a mother of pearl. Those are, mm. um, they're, they're a long bead that has double holes. So it allows to have. Oh, so mm, because they're so long. And um, yeah, both of these pieces are just pieces that I love, but I realize I don't ever wear. So I need somebody to rescue them from, from my jewelry box and give them some love because I'm not giving them love. I love them, but I never wear them. Like never. Wait. So what do you mean by rescue? I mean, are you selling, selling this one? Yeah. Both of them. Oh, okay, girl. Oh, okay. So I was, I, was I, so I was in the middle of like cleaning and I, no, makeup, oh, that's, you can see no makeup. I'm like, kids are quiet. Let me quickly take a picture. And they're, like you should put on some makeup and do go outside and do some good lighting. I'm like, nope, this is just what you it look is. Look like a French model or some I don't girl, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, the like that French the French model who just wants to only like, you know, have a little sweep of a darker brow on for the day and like the rest is, you know, effortless beauty, you know, that kind of vibe. And I'll just quickly show y'all the other necklace too. Oh, that's tiger eye and um onyx, black onyx love love both of those pieces wonderful like, I, I'm Black onyx too mm. I make jewelry for myself basically I make it you know I make it because I love it I'm drawn to it and I want it and I hope mm. people want it but I never wear these so please show these pieces some love and and give them give them the attention <laughs> they deserve and Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm like, Bonnie just got me cracking oh, up. Poor, poor, poor little, I don't know, lost little puppies. They're yeah, that's why she has me cracking up, y'all, because the uh, she really does mean that. Like, this, this is not about like 
for anybody who just feels like buying it just because like it's to say like you know you're 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 it's the transfer of the love what we were saying earlier it's that transfer of love like really give love to um these pieces and when how you care for come on now let me stop let me let me remind y'all because some of y'all I need for y'all to uh to transfer the idea that you have about your own art into jewelry okay so it's the same kind of desire that we may have a general desire artists have is to make sure that people take care of the work that you know they purchase like we would hope that we (laughs) I mean I don't think any artist is is cool with now some of y'all might say this just to be resistant but I don't think or I feel like most artists don't want someone to purchase their work and then kick a hole through the canvas you know like like or throw it in the trash and just be okay with the fact that they paid them no, most of us want the want to know it's going to a good home. We want our creations to go to a good home. Yeah, these necklaces are like 10 years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're they're wonderful. Take very good care of my jewelry. <laughs> yes, as as it's 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 just healthy. I mean, I'm and I want to give more context to that. Like it's appreciation. So no matter what it is that we have. Are you appreciating what you have? You know, are you, even if it hasn't been sold artists, listen up, is it just tossed somewhere or are you at least saying, okay, are y'all talking to your art? Because I know some of y'all talk to the art, you know, you talk to the jewelry, maybe you're like, okay, okay, babe. I know it's been, you know, a couple months, a couple years, whatever that looks like, but we're going to make sure that you get to a good home because, you know, again, like I've talked about standards. Y'all, you gotta have some, st- like, really take care of your work if you really care about it. So that's good. I love those pieces. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Girl, ooh, don't get me started. I was gonna start talking about price pricing because, because um, what you were talking about when you had that moment where someone's like, oh, this is too expensive or that kind of uncomfortable vibe. Like that just had me so wired up because, you know, I've just talked about that so much about the prices and whoo, I, I personally feel, yeah, this feels very luxury to yeah, me. So those are, um, this is the original, this is the Bonnie necklace. That's the Bonnie necklace, but, um, <laughs> The, the, uh, Labradorite that I use Mm. um, for selling them is slightly different. And that was, um, uh, a friend, dear friend of mine, shout out to purchased one for herself and one to share the love to a friend in Atlanta. So yeah, yeah. these are gorgeous. Those were sold when I posted them. Yes. I love Mm. them. The selection, um, of these particular stones just feels really good. It they're just feels really colors. warm. Yes, they're my colors. The, oh, it feels really the yeah. Abiet, um, and the Labradorite. Oh, I love Labradorite. Oh, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> my girl. I'm, I'm sorry. That's the wrong post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The there. I, I think you had your um, your protection bracelet, um, your energy protection bracelet on in that picture. Oh yes, yeah. Oh wait, did you have a uh, close a close up of that one in that post? probably not but yes yeah yeah your rainbow oh, okay that, that you have on now yeah oh, gosh like I'm always laughing at least when Bonnie and I get together unless we have like an uh, intense moment of like going deep with something you know but for the most part yeah laughing all day every day um let's see that one energy protection and your earrings on in there but yeah your bracelet oh and the earrings too yes right there my earrings yeah yeah, I love those. Birthday, right? Um, those earrings. I don't know. I think it was around there. Yeah. So I, I want to just, you know, continue to say, you know, stay on that path. You know, um, our yeah. creatives listening, stay on. And I say stay on path. You know, it's kind of like what we were talking about earlier, just having that awareness that that person that you like is still in the room. You know, so that is to say that that energy is, that's the highest, that's the highest energy that you got in you. Like, you know, every, you know, people have, they call it different things, but like the, that's the lightest, the highest, that's, you know, God, that's your spirit talking to you. Like it's, and you know it, 
you know it, you, you know, you can give it a name if you like, but, but the, the point is, you know, that it's there. And so don't be too hard or demanding on yourself to like force yourself to like, Oh, you know, I better do this. And if I don't do this, then I'm going to be upset with myself. Just be aware of it and give love to it when you can, you know, well, Go ahead, and, and it's a gift, you know, Yeah, and it's always going to resurface. So it, honestly, it, it doesn't matter how hard you try to ignore it. It's still going to rear up its ugly head or it's dead because <laughs> it's there and you just can't get away from it. That's it. You That's can't, it. it's too much a part of you. Like what? But yeah, acknowledging the season and not being tough on yourself. That's, mm-hmm. that's important too. And mm-hmm. I say that because as a woman, <laughs> A wife, a mother, we, we, we're hard on ourselves. At least I, mm, I am. Very mm. So I, I have to remind myself that like, this is the season. Like I can't, can't do it all, but let's, let's keep trying to do as much as we can. Yeah. That feels good. And if anything, exactly what you just said, like, do not take the highest state of yourself, that love state, the creative, the natural creative flow, please do not take that and treat it like uh, a task, you know, <laughs> like, like, you know, so like forcing yourself to like, I better do this. What, what we were just talking about. Don't do that. Like, it's just, if you, and you, most of the time y'all can sense it. And I just encourage you not to do that. Don't file it and treat it like, like, like with stress, you know, with stress, because it wasn't the, <laughs> that state of you is not meant to be stressful. Like it's not meant to be a problem, you know, it's meant to, to flow the way it needs to just flow. Like your, like your thoughts or your emotions or your, it's meant to process when it's just time to process it. Um, we all have had those days, weeks, maybe even years where there's just so much going on and you're like, whoa, okay. Two months just passed. (laughs) Okay. Well, what do we have now? We have we have now, we have the time of now. So if you have that time right now, you're choosing to make time for it, then you'll, you'll find it. You'll find it for sure. Yeah. And I've also learned with age and the pandemic. So with age and the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you do need to like, just do something. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be something serious art wise, you know, mm. do just color in a coloring book, <laughs> do something, something and, like for me with the pandemic exercise, like mm. I'm so miserable. I'm in a funk. Maybe I need to get down and do some yoga or go for a walk outside mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. and I guarantee you're going to feel a little bit better afterwards. So yes. just like if you're in a art, if you're in a funk as an artist, I mean, just mix it up, do something not so serious. And I bet you're going to mm. feel good after that too. That's good. That's a, it's an excellent reminder for myself. I'm going to say that's a good reminder for me. Um, and I'm sure some of our listeners, <laughs> I'm sure some of our listeners um, grab that too. That's a good, because I literally did that this morning. I typically will dedicate at least three or four days out the week to read at least 15 minutes. And so like once I'm starting to read and then that 15 minutes could be like, by the time 15 minutes comes, right. I'll set a timer by the time 15 minutes come or the 15 minute mark hits, then I'm deciding, Oh, I actually feel like I could finish this chapter, you know, like, so it might stretch a little bit longer, you know? So instead of reading this morning, I decided to just grab an, um, a sketchbook and just start sketching because I love watercolor, but I've been waiting to get more watercolor paper and then set it up again. And that idea keeps delaying me. So that's why I was like, just give me something to just run with. Like, I don't, I saw it. Yes. So that's perfect timing that you said that I literally made the decision this morning to just get in, just, just do something here. <laughs> just do something. Um, that's beautiful. Yeah. Go ahead, girl. Get it, body. All right. All right. So, okay. So like, I want to ask so many other things, but because it's body, like, why would I not? And you know, I say this 
on in so many um, interviews, but you have to know yourself. I know that I could keep going and going and going. And I know that since Bonnie and I are friends, we could definitely be going for, for some lengthy amount of time, right? <laughs> We, we, but we, we always go over when we're together. I'm telling you, I'm, you got to give a, like a buffer, like, you know, a, like start earlier in the day. So, you know, it doesn't go into like the wee hours and you have to be, you know, with your family and all of that. Right. And so, yeah, we're factoring all that in, but we are going to move right into the word game. So before we do, I just want to uh, give a fresh reminder to our listeners. Make sure you check out Bonnie's links in the description below. Check her out on Instagram. Send her a message. Like that's like the most personal thing. You know, I I love when people send me messages. So my my call to action with people, even if I just met them, is like, oh, what's your IG? And then I tell them I'll message you right now. Like we about to get that conversation started. So y'all make sure you send her a message, check her out on Facebook and even send her an email, which will be in the description below. You'll get all that good information. And podcasters, once again, if you have not seen her work, go to the YouTube video more specifically for the ones that we discussed today. So you could see her her masterpieces of her jewelry that we discussed today. All right. So with that being said, thank you so much, Bonnie. We're going to dive into the word game. So the thing about the word game, I'm I'm changing it up a little bit, a little bit. Um, So for years, I've done a word game where I would just select different words and then you respond. Um, and I'm throwing this one at you because I think the information that I had shared with you, uh, to prepare was just, was just that I'm, I'm going to say a word and then you're going to tell me the first word that comes to mind. Right. But we're only going to do that with a few words, the other set. And I'll, of course, you know, I'll let you know, I'll, I'll cue you when we're going to change the vibe. The other set of words will be what I'm calling word ping pong, where I say a word and then you say the word and then whatever word you say, I will respond with the first thing that comes to mind. And then you respond with the first thing that comes to mind. And we'll just go back and forth and see how long we can do this. (laughs) Now, the seeing how long we could do this is when one of us is taking maybe four or five seconds to think. That's when it's like, okay, we'll like, we'll just put it down. Now we're going to go to the next word. Okay. So first I'm going to call off a word and you tell me the first one that comes to mind. All right. So that's the first group. (laughs) All right. The first word is college. Fun. Fun. (laughs) Y'all, you have to, uh, listeners, go to the podcast. You have to see her facial expressions. They tell me absolutely everything. (laughs) Like, yeah, they tell me absolutely everything. And I feel like I'm just a bobblehead on this video because I'm just like, yes, Electra, yes. Like, all I'm doing is. (laughs) <laughs> yeah comedy yes. oh my gosh okay yes girl look hilarious okay so the next word is child child oh. <laughs> um oh gosh i it's stress but that's, <laughs> that's 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 where i am right now i didn't want to say it but then i couldn't think of anything else it was fun and stress so, <laughs> fun stress like fun I just said fun and then stress but, is awful and then but you know <laughs> let me I love that but and let me educate some of our listeners too stress is stress can be induced even when you're having fun like and the the example I always use is going to a theme park a theme park is can be so exciting and and thrilling and all of that but there's so much energy that it can take out of you if you're not paying attention and pacing it out, you know? So yeah, stress can, it, it's called you stress, E-U, E-U, and then stress. Just, just, just give the plug. Cause some of our little people are constantly trying to kill themselves. So that's very stressful. So you gotta be like, yeah, on a thousand, I'm sure y'all real quick. Her, when her kids came over, Bonnie and her kids oh came over. God. Yo, I didn't realize how many breakable things were so accessible to, to toddlers. I was just like, <laughs> I can't like, now I'm looking all over the place like, um, okay, wait, oh, there's a corner. There's a corner on a the table. There's something breakable. Like, so yes, 
All right, y'all. So yeah, okay, that's good. That's a good, a good response. We're good with that. So your next word is power. Oh, power. Jewelry. <laughs> Jewelry, <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's what, I love it. It's my name. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So the next word is delicate. 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 That's it. Hot finger. Delicate finger. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> oh gosh i love it comedy delicate finger i'm with it there's no right or wrong answer all right girl okay so that's that's going to be the close of that segment and now we're gonna actually oh huh gosh. With delicate finger, now we're going into ping pong. Where are we going to go, girl? This is I know. Get wild. I think this is going to get wild. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is good. Okay, so I don't know. We we may only need to just run with one word and see how how long we can you know keep it afloat. Do I say a different word? You just say the first thing that comes to mind, and then I'll do the same. First yeah. thing that comes to mind. First <laughs> thing that comes to mind. Yep. Of each other. All right. <laughs> Just like that. Yes, let's go. All right. So the, the word we're going to start with is price. price. <laughs> Up. Down. <laughs> now? What? I said now, but that doesn't make any sense. No, no. You said now. I mean, it is what it is. That, so down now. Now. All right. Um present now <laughs> tomorrow future rapper <laughs> 90s <laughs> high school yes <laughs> best yeah uh hi yeah that's right 90s rapper high school yep um so where are we gonna go now fun fun f-u-n fun um dancing <laughs> i'm like yes but i have to say something oh lord um <laughs> So, wait okay so we're gonna call it because now now you're really pondering you're like okay <laughs> this, comedy. this is why i play these games girl like we're gonna have to actually do this in person and like do the whole back and forth thing all right so we're gonna we're gonna just do one more word that's the ping pong okay <laughs> one more word oh my goodness i feel like i failed okay okay <laughs> we get it together oh gosh okay so the word we're going to start with is collaborate. Collaborate. Art. Mm. Life. A ride. What is it? Ride. Ride. Oh, okay. Um, car. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making that face? Is it because I just quickly respond? You're so good at this. Um, together. Family. Adventure. Hiking. Exercise. Sunday. <laughs> Fun day. Mm. It's so beautiful outside, y'all. I'm, I'm probably looking weird looking out the <laughs> window, but it's so nice outside. Wait, so what? So where do we leave off? <laughs> I said oh, Sunday. oh, you said fun day. You yeah. said fun day. Yeah. Um, Friday. Uh, first, first Friday. First Friday. Art. Oh, here we're, we're going in a circle back to art. Yes. Um, art. Life. Um, thankful. Blessing. God, God, <laughs> God. <laughs> Look, okay, we're good. We can't capitalize anything after that. We right. we started off. Did y'all hear that? We started off with collaborate and ended up at God. Like 
that's just how it works. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was, that was great. I'm getting all the feels from that. So y'all, thank you so, so, so much for tuning in. Bonnie, you have been incredible for this interview. Thank you. I am honored to have this time with you. Thank you. I'm so honored. So yes. Any shout outs? Anyone you want to give some shout outs to show some love? I gave so many shout outs. Um, well, my family, of course. Um, yes, my family, my fellow artists. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, they're awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you. So absolutely. Much. Absolutely. Y'all. Thank, thank you so much for this. This has been fun. To, to record and capture one of our conversations. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely y'all, because I promise we've been putting out a lot of podcast episodes. We just haven't made it a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the same with Shannon, our friend Shannon, and some oh, yeah. of y'all by this point. Shannon, Shannon is, yeah. um, through Shannon is how I met Electra. Yes. So. Yeah. Y'all make sure you check out that interview with Shannon Lighty. Yeah. Some of y'all might remember that I, you know, called her Lighty Body. Um, so, so yeah, check and reference that episode if you have yet to do so. So Bonnie and I are going to stay right here for a few more minutes, but we are going to say peace, peace to all y'all stay fully creative as much as you can artists, creators, and all designers. We appreciate y'all love y'all. We're going to peace, peace. Love. Thank you. <laughs> Creatives, it has been both a pleasure and an honor to have you sit in on our conversation today. So will you be the next artist interviewed? <laughs> Visit respecttheartist.com forward slash artist dash interviews to learn more. And hopefully I'll see you soon. RTA stands for Respect the Artist. Love y'all.